Well, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. It's raining here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Ooh, and I'm feeling every bit of that. But I was I was watching a video today. Um, I like to watch her channel, uh, Miss uh, Ginger Ninja. And she was talking about portion sizes. You know, being thrifty. Uh, but it was food that she bought from the store. And she was talking about portion sizes. Which led me to to begin to think about a lot of things. Are the amounts of our food going down while the prices are going up? I wonder. Now, I remember when I was a family of four going out to uh, the Colonel's and picking up the family meal taking it home, opening up that cup of mashed potatoes and looking down in it and thinking how on earth could they possibly think that this is going to feed a family of four. We maybe got mm, three heaping tablespoons of mashed potatoes coming to us a piece. And I knew my that was never going to fly uh, in my home. Uh, my husband was a big eater. Uh, and I had two boys, grown boys. But, you know, you never see something like that out in a burger doodle, like the golden arches. It's never portioned out. Uh, it's more um, servant size, they call it. And I think it's so that you can compare it to the calories, which in some burgers... Uh, you can get, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, your, your whole day's worth of calories in one burger in some places. So I was thinking about this year was the first time early this year I had heard the term mukbang. And from what I could see, it was just somebody either having breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you know, and streaming and talking to them you know, subscribers why they were doing it. Uh, you know, no big deal. Kind of sort of like uh, going online and uh, having dinner together, um, you know, if you should happen to be eating at the same time. But there was no copious amounts of food involved. But now I've seen another definition of mukbang, where there are huge amounts of food involved and they're just eating and eating and eating while they're live streaming and I thought well that's totally different from what I heard so I googled it and found out that mukbang began in Korea in 2010 and it became a big hit and it it, it consisted mostly of streaming live uh, I think there was actually TV shows where it was involved where they showed a haul, part of it, and showed part of it being prepared, but the majority of the time they were streaming and eating, talking to their audience. Now, I used to be chunky, and when I wanted to lose weight, I cut back on not just what I was eating and got more active, but I, I cut back on the amount I was eating. All right? And sure, you can live off the fat of the lamb for a while, but you're still going to have them stomach pains. Because that's when your stomach is shrinking, when you're having them pains. And I was thinking about the videos that I've seen where people are eating until they're falling over. And I thought about uh, Miss Ginger Ninja's video. And I thought, boy, them people who are used to mukbanging, if the crap does hit the fan and they got to cut back, they're going to be suffering big time. So I think I'd rather just cut back now, getting used to eating less now, um, rather than to have to suffer it out later. Because there can be so many things that come with that, like your sugar, 
may have to readjust. You could end up with headaches, definitely going to have stomach pains. Uh, depending on what you eat, uh, your body may have to detoxify. I mean, mm -mm. if crap hits the fan, that's going to be hard enough to deal with. I really don't think I want to have to deal with all that on top of it. People are going to do what people are going to do. They're going to make their videos, you know. Um, I look at the content, all right, and personally, the videos where they're, they're eating to where they're falling over and stuff, is it, it irritates me to no end. Uh, the only time that ever happened in my family was uh, holidays, <laughs> family events, get-togethers. And if you were invited invited to a birthday party or something, uh, they always fed you well. Uh, other than that, that didn't happen in my family. I come from a big family, and uh, many a days I had beans, potatoes, and cornbread, and and for the next day too. And we we did have other things. Um, but we did not eat all we wanted. But we weren't uh, confined to like little bitty portions either. <laughs> <clears throat> so I, I just don't know how people are going to deal with that. I think uh, portion is a matter of opinion and that people are, restaurants are kind of sort of determining what their portion is. <laughs> you know? uh, and it differentiates from one to the other. But when you buy your food and cook it at home, I believe you're getting bigger portions. But now I have heard people say that cans are getting smaller and the prices are going get, to getting higher. <clears throat> Pardon me, so I'm wondering. I still got a bit of a cold. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I'm wondering, you know, who sets the standards on portion sizes and what makes it a family size portion? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's kind of... It's kind of going back and forth there. I think people are setting their own standards. So uh, that may be something that has to be dealt with here in society before long. Prices going up and the portions going down. Finding out who sets them standards. And uh, maybe putting a cap on them <laughs> so they didn't get crazy with them. Well, anyway, you know... Just I just started thinking on it. Uh, the good thing about cooking at home is, and first of all, you are saving some money. Okay, I, I just watched a video where somebody uh, went to a restaurant and uh, they paid fifteen dollars for a hamburger. You know, and probably some fries and a drink. Uh, but I think the hamburger and fries alone was just over fourteen dollars, and I thought I could get a pound of hamburger buns and some toppings for that and have several of them at home. So thus far, I think people are still saving money at home. Uh, besides, food out ain't what it used to be anymore. Even years ago, if I drove by, uh, you know, thought about going to a restaurant, and I drove by a restaurant, and there was hardly any cars in the parking lot, I was like, mm-mm, I ain't eating there. It ain't fresh. Uh, lunchtime and dinner time and early in the morning with breakfast uh, was always the best times to go to a restaurant. But even then, if the parking lot was empty, mm -mm, I wasn't eating there. Chances are the food wasn't going to be that fresh. So I don't eat out. It's a rare thing for me to eat out. And uh, But from what I understand, a lot of the quality of food's going downhill. And uh, what what time uh, I did order one or two things mm -mm, when I got them, when it got here, mm -mm. and from what I understand, delivery prices on stuff like that's gone sky high too. But it wasn't fresh, it wasn't fresh at all. So I said, mm, no, never again. Uh, it would have to be a treat for me, and it would definitely have to be a place that was busy. <laughs> but people are so far. Uh, saving money at home eating. Um, as bare as the shelves are, there are still some things you can get. So anyway, I was just wondering about portion sizes as 
compared to serving sizes in mukbang. Uh, apparently there's two different kinds of those. Anyway, I just got curious and I thought I'd, you know, share some of those points with you all so you might want to keep an eye on that. All right. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye-bye.